In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add optimized images to your Squarespace website. So we're going to go over how, what size you should have in order to make your images look good on all devices, um, what settings you need to make sure that you have set so that it looks good and so that you get the most out of your images so that it loads fast, it's fully optimized. So let's get into it. So first things first, let's go over some of the guidelines for file names. So for the file name itself, you want to use only lowercase letters, numbers, underscores, and hyphens. So for the example I used here, you want to use woman-walking-golden-retriever.jpg and you really want to be descriptive because this will actually act as an alt text in Squarespace if none is given and we'll go over how to add an alt text later on once we're in the program so you want to make sure that you use JPEG for images uh, you're going to want to use GIF if you're using uh, you know animated GIFs obviously and then PNG you want to use for anything that has any illustrations or words uh, logos, things like that, you'll want to use PNG, otherwise JPEG is the winner. For file size, you ideally want to have your file to be less than 500 kilobytes for best results. Uh, I think it's something like 20 megabytes is the max that you can have on the site to upload. And now the bread and butter comes down to your image dimensions, which you should be between 1500 and 2500 pixels wide. So if we look at uh, this image here, this image is 2500 pixels wide. So this is the whole image itself and you can see we don't actually see all of it on the site here. It's cut off a little bit. It actually looks like it's maybe a little bit cropped on one side and cropped on the bottom as well. So you want to have your image to be no more than 2500 pixels wide ideally if it's not a background image then you probably want to keep things under 1500 pixels wide 2500 pixels will be fine though because Squarespace will actually create six variations from your original file so if you take a 2500 pixel photo wide 2500 pixels wide doesn't matter how tall it is because uh, as long as it's less than 2500 pixels then you're doing fine uh, it'll create six different variations from 100 pixels all the way to 2500 pixels so this means it'll automatically select whichever image is best suited to the device that your user is on and use that instead so you'll be saving load time without even trying now something to note is that if you're adding an image as a background image and not uploading it as an image block then or in an image gallery then it's going to maintain its original size so it won't create this scaled out version it's going to keep the original image so in that case you want to make sure that it's no more than 2500 pixels wide I suggest following suit with Squarespace here and they have their image 2500 pixels wide by 1563 tall and so as you can see this fits perfectly obviously it's scaled on my device right now by 64 uh, percent so if you know this is scaled down a bit because of my computer size but nonetheless uh, if you're doing a full image like they are here then you know do exactly what they're doing no need to uh, complicate things back to where we were here so in your image you want to make sure that you use patterns and images with no text or borders for best results and then you want to add maybe a bleed area to make cropping less noticeable because Squarespace will crop things especially depending on the size of device things are going to get cropped in order to make it look good so you know like this photo here there's quite a bit of room around the subject here on the side and obviously all over here um, and they're not too concerned about this lower portion here. See like there's you could almost say that her hair is the bleed section like the bottom of her hair and the side here So that way when we see the image 
it still looks good. And you can adjust the focal point on Squarespace to ensure that your subject is in the image. Now let's get on to alt text. So remember that this is what your visitors are seeing if they are using a screen reader or they disabled images. So you want to describe the image to someone who can't see it and avoid using photo or picture in the alt text. Uh, 12 words or less is ideal and you know make sure you're using keywords but don't be overzealous with them and stuff them. So let's get into adding alt text into the image block. So I've got two different sites up here. One is an older before 7.1 and we'll go into that first here. So uh, I'm just in the content editing page here going to click on the image and say edit and now what you can do you can see I've got you know a nice uh, clean file name here and then in the design since I'm using the inline style for the image what I, you actually want to do is you want to say caption below and then you want to type in your caption which is also the alt text type it in and then say do not display caption and that'll save the caption as an alt text you hit apply save wham bam thank you ma'am you've got your alt text it's good to go now something that's interesting is that when you are doing it in any other uh, layouts of an image block you're actually going to do things a little bit differently so uh, let's just say for example here we'll just use the same image and just go ahead and edit design let's say we're gonna say that's a poster so what you're gonna do is go content and you're you're just gonna use it right here like this so uh, camper van kitchen uh, set and then apply and there you have it um, obviously this is the title here um, but this is you know that's if you're using a, a uh, poster style so I'm gonna go back to own oh, same thing for if you're doing collage you know so the title and the subtitle or you know the title and the subtitle those are not going to be the uh, the alt text what's going to be the alt text in these cases is actually the file name kind of weird but that's the way it is uh, so now uh, same thing for 7.1 actually for the image block same same style so I'll go ahead and show you that here so this is 7.1 and we'll go ahead and edit and go into the image here and design inline caption below type in your caption and then you can say do not display caption apply and save just like that uh, okay so as far as adding alt images to the gallery which is also important because you know you've got lots of pictures that have to do with your business let's go through that now so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna go to our gallery page here. And so let's see here, gonna go to edit. And under the images, so go ahead and you know select an image and hit the gear and throw that into the description. You can add some tags, categories if you want, not really necessary though. Hit save. And there you have it. And um, yeah, so, you know, the gallery, because this is a gallery page, which the gallery page does not exist like this on 7.0, 7.1, sorry, get confused there. <laughs> um, so, that pretty much sums it up. The main thing is, is that your image is needs to be 2,500 pixels or less and that you want the file size to be less than 500 kilobytes. So if you already have the, you know, width at 2,500 pixels, but the file size is a little large, make sure you use something like a uh, tiny PNG 
and uh, throw the image up in here and this will compress the image. That will help tremendously. Otherwise, you know, you need to maybe think about your images a little bit. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was helpful for doing all of that. As far as adding background images, um, you know, in 7.1, it's really easy. Um, you just go to edit and in the section that you want the background image, you just hit background image and then, uh, you know, you can replace that or edit it and then you can do full width, uh, full bleed or inset overlay. You can do all that right here. Super easy. You can edit it. So here you can, you know, adjust as needed. If you need to crop it, you cannot change the resolution of it though. So that's about the only thing that's kind of a bummer. Uh, you know, something to think about is how different your image is going to look like on the background on different devices. So, you know, it's going to look totally different on desktop. So you want to make sure that you're uh, on desktop than mobile. So you want to make sure that like your subject is centered um, or that you don't care about the subject because then when you go to mobile, it'll change or the other option is that when you go in here background you change the focal point here so you drag that around and change it up there and that'll help to address the focal point on mobile and desktop um so yeah hopefully that helps you guys with your squarespace uh image optimizing for your builds uh, if you have any questions at all be sure to leave them in the comments below if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials on Squarespace like this. Until next time, happy internetting.